Anthropic recently released Claude 4.5 Opus. I want to talk about what we're using it for and also where we're still using ChatGPT, Gemini, or even Claude 4.5 Sonnet. So as I've spoken about in other videos, we regularly use ChatGPT, Gemini, and Claude. However, Claude is the one that we use most often for work. Claude has always been the best at considering a large amount of context without forgetting details and the best at natural writing, which is our primary use case for large language models. And so we set up a Claude project for each of our clients and use that to build their brand ambassador. This is just a project that we give all the information there is about a particular client so it can represent them. One common problem with Claude though is that it frequently runs out of tokens. This is because when you give Claude a large amount of context, it really pays attention. It'll consider all that context, where other models are quicker to switch over to RAG and only pull in the information it thinks is important to the prompt. And this has always been the catch-22 with Claude. We want it to really look through all the context we give it, but as a result, we're constantly hitting that max token limit. Claude 4.5 Opus addresses this directly. Although it's a bigger, smarter model, it's able to do the same task in less time, taking up less context. It also has a much bigger context window. So if you need to give the model a lot of context, and it's important that it pays close attention to the details, nothing beats Claude 4.5 Opus right now. So for any task where we're providing the context, and we need the large language model to do strategy or analysis or organization, Opus is the best choice. On the other hand, if we want the model to help us retrieve the context, if we need the model to do any kind of search or research across the internet, Gemini 3 is definitely the better choice. And for natural writing, if we're writing a blog post, social media post, web page copy, Sonnet 4.5 still seems like the best option. So where does that leave ChatGPT? I'm not sure yet. We're actually switching most things that we used to use ChatGPT for over to Gemini 3 right now. I will say that ChatGPT's thinking mode and deep research mode does try a bit harder than Gemini's. It's just not quite as smart. And ChatGPT's search function is much less sophisticated than Gemini's. I do know that ChatGPT codex is very powerful. It's just not something that we use in our work.